What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Joshua Martin. Yeah, today I'm going to kind of show you all the new shooting space for YouTube videos. I know I've been kind of on a low for a bit in terms of posting our content. I have been working, obviously, with moments, so you'll see my face mainly there right now. But for this channel, figuring out a lot of things, uh, especially with, like, with rig culture and the content I want to produce for my, my personal channel. Anyway, I'm rambling. Today I just want to kind of show you what the process has been. I've been kind of filming here and there about us re-switching the, the office editing room back over there to have this be the shooting room. Yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Let's, uh, let's get into it then. Okay, so today is going to be kind of a fun home project. This will be the third time my wife and I are going to be switching rooms. <laughs> Um, we're gonna still keep our you know, studio space together, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all the computers in the smaller room on this side. Well, I don't know, they're technically the same size. This is just more narrow, as you can see here. More narrow. It's a total mess right now, but uh, we're gonna bring this back over here to make this the shooting side. And then, like I just said, we're gonna move all this over to the, uh, uh, editing space which is cool because i've realized i need depth like shooting in here is cool but this is very short as you can see here it's quite short so yeah <laughs> she, she's not happy still love me right you could say that <laughs> What I want to show you first is the, I call it the battle station. Look, I'm cheesy, I know. But basically this is where I build any and all rigs. Um, I kind of kitted it out with uh, this really small uh, rack where I can kind of hang a few things. There's still a lot of organizing to do, but I have my filters and lenses and stuff like that. Um, some miscellaneous stuff. I really got to work on this area here. This is kind of weird because these, um, these tube lights are from Quasar, but they come with a really short cord and they don't include a dimmer. So I bought an, a third party dimmer and that dimmer and the cord are really short at the top. So I need an extension cord to kind of connect to the outlet. It's weird. You think it'll be like a two end, but it's only one end. So that's kind of jumbled up in there. And again, some more miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, this is basically where I have my tools, some of the lenses at the bottom, this is at the top that I frequently use, some mounts for my Z cam, and this new toy, the Ronin S2. This thing, this is my first gimbal, and um, we decided to, to go this route, and man, it's it's really nice. It's kind of like having a second hand. You'll see some of these smoother pan shots, tilt shots um, in this video, because I, I, I was using it, but this is incredibly light. Not sure I'm actually going to do a review on it because tons of it out there. I'm kind of late to the party with any type of gimbal. So there's really all the information is already out there. But definitely I have some ideas for some shots I want for docs, for narrative stuff. So that's why I basically got it. Um, and my Tilta Nucleus M handle grip on here. No, over here is basically the charging station. So I do probably want to get another rack up here to build uh, some of these chargers on the wall. If it makes sense, maybe not. I do probably need some more organization. But basically I have some of my monitors, mainly all of my batteries that I use for the camera. Uh, my wireless systems, I use Vaxxas. These are the 500 SDIs. Pretty much simple. It's not a lot of um, real organization. This is probably the messiest one over here, just because, let's, let's point down a little bit. Yeah, just because um, I keep all the sound blankets, well, technically these are, these are moving blankets. Um, if you saw my reel, I made a real on Instagram about it. Anyway, uh, these are moving blankets, which can be used as sound blankets. They're not as thick, so you can double them up, but it does help dampen the sound. Um, this is drawers. This is basically for all the knickknacks that I have. This is basically all the rig parts that I have down here. 
and then one of my book bags and it's really simple. Now pointing at this wall, this is gonna be mainly for testing lenses. This is a lens chart, um, a focusing chart, uh, aspect ratio, whatever you wanna call it. Basically this is where I can just test lenses and I'm always getting SLR magic lenses to test. So this is what I use this wall for and it gives me enough space because this room is very narrow very very narrow <laughs> so um that's what I, that's what i use this wall for um, i do have some other charts like obviously a gray card chart getting white balance down and then that little chart over there i do want to get some more other tools for just lens um, stuff and just camera testing i really enjoy that process so what else let's kind of just flip this around now over in, now over in this corner this is where i'll be shooting and i'm using the depth of this room going this way to shoot this is basically where i'm going to be talking towards the camera and the camera which is on the tripod now is going to be behind this table here um, i do have again a c stand here and i just nailed the other sound blanket to that wall to just kind of catch some of that reverb um, going that way because this is kind of echoey in here it's like a chamber basically because it's quite narrow but um yeah, and actually I'm gonna show you a little bit of a rig that I built and I posted out the other day um, of how I monitor it and how I get my audio and everything from there. Um, how I'm lighting it, so I have this. So right here behind me, I have the 120D Mark II. Shout out to Aperture for sending this over. I really appreciate it. And I'm shooting into a large 43 inch umbrella. I need to get some more flags for this to kind of shape the light to where I need it because it's still quite a bit of spill. Um, this is my older 120, this thing I've had for almost four years now. And it's and it's it's one day it's not gonna turn on because every time I turn this on, it has this very it sounds like it's gonna die every time. Let me see if it Yeah, so it's going to uh that's bright. It's going to eventually die. We did also order the 300X, and I'll hopefully be here this week. Um, just kind of just get my lighting game up. So that's what I'm using for lighting. And then basically, I bought a gel pack, um, and I can just make this, you know, purple, blue, red, whatever color I want to kind of set that mood. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, let's get to the shot where you actually see on YouTube. So this is what it looks like with no lighting at all in my space. I do have a window here. I need to get a blackout curtain. There is quite a bit of ambient light that comes in. So I'll turn on my backlight and then here's my main light. So that's what that looks like. So what do you guys think of the new look? Um, right now I switched out the lens. Earlier I was using my 12 millimeter from SLR Magic. Now I'm using the 21. 21, I think, is a really good look um, for this space. Um, it's not too crammed, still gives me some separation. And plus, again, shooting down the more deep, uh, the deep side of the room gives me some depth, some you know separation there. So pretty uh, happy with that. Now talking about the light a little bit, I put the purple gel on just because that's something I've been using for the past week, just to kind of see what that mood feels like but I do need to flag it as you can see there might be some spillage on a little bit on here um, just kind of control it so I need to flag it a bit more again like I said I need to flag my main source just because it is still up pretty high and pretty far away I would like to have it closer so it can kind of be softer and wrap a little bit more so I can overall bring this uh, exposure down I'm looking at my monitor here as my phone and I'll and I'll show you guys what that looks like too. Um, but normally you won't see this aspect of it. Um, I'm gonna figure out um, the distance. I might need to get like a longer extension for my mic to reach my mouth. Um, Cause if I have it back here a little bit more, I could crop in two. And it's there's a lot of tweaking I need to do. Ideally, I do want to shoot in three, two. And I'm, let me switch that real quick. I know I really dig this look. So this might be the look for my A row moving forward. Um, and I've always liked the square-ish format. So this might be the look. Now let me tell you a little bit about the inspiration of where this is all kind of come together. So um, I'm sure most of you know and follow um, the Wandering DP. 
love his work um love his breakdowns and i was just really admiring his set and how he um lights his set how he lights himself now he's using a nova aperture nova hopefully i can get that down the way um so i'm just using these gels shooting it right up to my ceiling and bouncing down because it's just white in here anyway he has a quasar in the background some other things um i saw quasars again with uh, maddie hapoya he has his on his racks too so that's what this idea is kind of coming from as well so it's it's a lot of combination of things and just feeling filling out what i like what i don't like um i like seeing the things that i'm using from day to day in the frame i don't like things too clean in my opinion that's how i roll with it yeah so let me talk about this this is what i built the other day and i'm going to rack focus to this guy excuse the audio again this might get a little loud testing one two three my bad y'all um but this is this is what i built for viewing myself getting a little bit of audio and then focusing so i have a nucleus nano attached to my camera right now to the lens and here's the follow focus wheel um, it's really that simple. So I have small rig parts. So this is a small rig magic arm um, And it has the extender in the middle and in here. I have another small rig piece It's like a NATO with um, quarter 20s in it and then I put a quarter 20 adapter Sorry, I just put a quarter 20 in it and then the screw that comes with the Mounting bracket for the nucleus wheel. I attach that to it so um, there's a couple things, yeah. So that's what I'm using there. And then I have a small rig uh, metal phone tripod thingy. I need to pick up another one of these. because These are great. I could probably have two separate ones. So one will be the audio and then one will be for my uh, focusing so I can move that out the way. Because I don't mind having the mic in the mic in the shot. So and I'm powering my zoom h6 that's right here yeah i should actually do that i should pick up another one of these so i can have the zoom h6 and then the the road mic same setup yeah i might just do that i might just do that so i don't know how long this video is it might be a short one no but i just kind of want to show you guys the update um life has been hectic for everyone not just me but for everyone um but with living into my life you guys have kind of peered in that you know i'm here full time um being at home so i gotta make something work so i can shoot for moments so i can shoot for myself so i can shoot for my other projects being a husband being a father i'm just going to keep on eat, keep on having that realization that i have a lot of responsibilities like most of you all do so um just finding a space in my own home to have it separate the family it's kind of weird because you're in the same spot but you gotta have to make it separate of things that's what i've kind of learned for myself well that wraps it up for this so Either I see you here on my channel or I'll see you on the moment channel one or two I appreciate you guys very much for the support um, I do want to get consistent that is the goal because now all my job is really being a youtuber outside of me being a filmmaker and getting other bigger jobs so we could kind of talk about that a little bit later too how am I balancing the two anyway I catch you guys on the next one peace Yeah, I'm digging it. I think I am going to just keep the 3-2 look.